So for the new BMW M4, it was important for us to focus on the most important elements. We emphasized the kidney and made it the main feature in the front. It is bigger and there is much more functions in the kidney. The air is not only going in on top, but also on the bottom. The whole kidney goes into the bonnet and gives it a very powerful look. Also, we have the typical trapezoidal M graphic down here, which creates the big air intake in the front. We know this theme from other M cars, but now it's even bigger. With the surface on the side, it helps to bring the airflow into the air curtain on the side and goes right onto the wheels. The car has a wider track than the series car. This is good for driving stabilities, but it's also great for design because the car gets better stance. To emphasize this, we have a crease line here in the wheel arch in the front, so the car gets really sitting on the road. When we go in back in the back of the car, we have the same sharp line than in the front. It's dividing the surface and it allows us to make very emotional surfaces onto the wheel. Also, a new theme is the black rocker, which goes from the front to the rear. It makes the car more lightweight and it's also designed with very small radii and a very flat surface here, which makes it look like a blade. In the rear, we have also focused on the most important elements, which is the exhaust pipes. The double round exhaust pipes are known with all our M cars. All the surfaces help to emphasize them. They are bigger than the predecessor and they are embedded in a very big diffuser. And the two fins on the side go directly into the carbon fiber where you also have the same fins in the roof. So the M4 is a simple and bold statement. All the M cars are polarizing and they are not necessarily pleasing everyone. They are meant to move people, not only physically, but also emotionally. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I think probably the most iconic element of the front on the new M4 are the kidneys. And those kidneys have been carried over uh, identically in their external perimeter geometry um, on the race car. They've been opened up internally um, to, for the care and feeding of the race um, with this rear wing and it really makes for a great uh, handling car. Let's uh, see the back. I have noticed before that it looks very different to the production car. In some areas it's uh, quite familiar but down here it's very different, right? Yep, yeah you're right. So um, probably the biggest difference is defined by the added width. Um, so the car is about 75 millimeters wider per side than the production car. And so because of that, we have the very generous fender fender elements. And it also has a uh, geometry that really lends itself to being uh, a high performance, uh, efficient uh, platform for a race car. And um, I think we could both be proud. Yeah, it's very exciting. And I think these both cars are so refreshing. Yeah. Cool.